What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to another video and if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. So, October is here folks. As you can see, the leaves are already starting to change colors. Some have even already started to fall. Pumpkin spice lattes are back at Starbucks and Walmart has a huge section of costumes that no one's even gonna buy. So needless to say, fall is full sending it. But the most important part is, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So in honor of that, we are taking this badge and making it into a pink one. And it just so happens that I'm wearing a pink shirt. So as you can see, the blue one already has a pink one, but it's kind of messed up. And this is an original one. As you can see, it's a JDM grill. It has the honeycomb design or webbing here in the grill. And it's also a lot longer right here. Whereas this one on the coupe, it has straight lines right here on the grill and it's very short right here. So I got this badge from the junkyard and I was planning on making it pink as well and throwing it on the blue one. But the more I look at it, if you can tell right here, there's a black spot. So I'm thinking this one will go here on the coupe since it's a bucket. And this one is actually in perfect condition. I'm gonna be doing this one to put it on this one and replace that one that's damaged. So another thing about this grill, these clips right here that go into the headlights, they don't really grab, so the grill's always popping out. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. I got these new ones from the junkyard and I also got these clips for the hood prop on the coupe. So in order to get this perfect pink color, I went ahead and ordered this Grimspeed Cherry Blossom Red. So this is supposed to be like the perfect match to this color. This is about 20, $25 for, you know, a rattle can. So it is pretty pricey. But if this can get super close to that, I'll be happy. So let's find out what it can do. And the good thing is we have an original one so we can see exactly how close it gets to it. So to start off, I need to get this badge off of this grill so we can get painting. And just like that, we have two badges ready to paint. So these just go on with some uh, double-sided tape right here so we can always replace that. All right, guys, I don't know what I was thinking when I told you guys I'm doing two pink badges. I'm only doing one, and it's gonna be for the blue car. Um, for the coupe, the theme on that car, uh, the car is gonna stay green, and it's gonna have some bronze and some purple accents to it. So I'm gonna do the badge on that one purple, so I'm gonna do one pink and one purple. All right, so this is gonna be a fun little inside project since it's raining outside. So what I did right now is I took the tape off the back of both of them. As you can see, it came out in little pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with nail polish remover and I'm gonna get some cotton swabs. Right now I have these Q-tips to get the, you know, the very tight areas and we will have all the paint removed. All right, so I got the cans soaking in that hot water right there to warm up the paint. I got these taped up and I'm going to use a nail polish remover to take the black off with this cotton swab. Release. Don't. Juan, put it on the toilet. Look, you're spilling it. You're spilling it on the table. You literally need to put the towel on there. You're gonna take off the glossiness. I already did. Yeah, you. All right. You literally keep everything on the towel. Mama Emily to the rescue because I'm over here ruining the table. Yeah, I'm taking off the paint on the actual table. <laughs> I put a towel on there. <laughs> All right, so this nail polish remover does not work. She brought me, what is this? Acetone. 100% pure acetone, and this is working. So. Well, just don't spill it on any surfaces. Make sure you have a towel or something in your mess up. Make your... sure you have an Emily around in case you start making messes, because. I made a G. Also, oh, like if you're touching that, don't touch, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm wearing gloves because I know this stuff is strong. So, we use it on our hands for our nails, so.
Alright, so as you can see, everything is off except for the stars. So I'm going to take the tape off and see how I did. Looks pretty good. So I got them both prepped, as you can see. Um, they're both used, so they have some cracks in them. So we're going to see how they turn out after paint. Hopefully you won't be able to see it if you can. I mean, the bucket might just have to stay with this cracked one. Um, the blue one might get a new one. I think they're like $15 at the dealership. Since they're plastic, I'm going to spray this adhesion promoter first. And then I think I might do a coat of clear and then the paint so it can give it a shiny finish. I'll try it out on the purple one first and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, it got dark on us, but it's all right because we have to leave these drying overnight anyways. So I got these taped up and I got them labeled purple and pink. So we're going to start with the adhesion promoter, then hit it with some gloss and then we'll get to the color. So I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes, then I'll hit it with this clear. All right, it is time for some paint. I think both these colors are looking really nice. This pink is looking a lot like the original, and this purple is called great all right so i just did the second coat and that's gonna do it for today because i have to let them dry overnight so we'll come back to them in the morning and see how they turned out 24 hours later all right next day here let's go ahead and grab these badges and see how we did all right so as you guys can see they turned out pretty nice unfortunately you can tell that these are cracked they're not like cracked all the way through or anything it's just like the inside face of it but like i said i'm very picky with everything that goes on to the blue car so i think i'm just gonna order a new one and i'm gonna redo it but i like the color it turned out really nice and on the purple one you can tell this one only has two cracks this one has a bunch so the purple one's good and this is going on the bucket anyway so i'm just gonna compare this real quick to the other one and see how close the color is all right, so this is the original and this is the Grim Speed. So I don't know if this is faded, you know, from all the years or whatever, but it's not a perfect match. Um, this is more of like a hot pinkish where this is more like, I don't know, pastel -y, I guess. Um, but I kind of like this hot pink better anyways. Um, so to get an idea, this is what the grill is going to look like now. And like I said, I like this shade of pink better, so I really don't mind the color difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the purple badge on the white grill, but since I'm not using this badge, I have no use for it and I don't know what to do with it. So if any of you guys want it, I'm gonna link my Instagram somewhere here or on the screen somewhere. Um, just send me a DM on there and just cover the shipping and then one of you guys can have it. All right, so I just got another a brand new one ordered for the pink one and this is the purple one you can see a little bit of purple went through right there um and if you look through the light you can kind of like almost like see through it and i don't like that so i'm just gonna hit it with some black because if you saw in the beginning it was all black so i'm gonna hit it with some black and see what that does i guess we'll find out all right guys four days later this video is taking forever to record and it's such a simple task. So I got the purple one painted black in the back. As you can see, it's not see-through anymore. And I also got a new one from the dealership. So I'm not gonna bore you guys showing you the whole paint work again, but I do wanna show you guys how easy it is to remove the black paint using acetone. It's literally like a couple wipes and that's it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that and then I'll go ahead and get it painted leave it drying overnight so this video is literally taking seven whole days so tomorrow we will be back putting the tape on and slapping them on the grill so subaru actually sends them with glue in the back and you just take this little orange film off and then it'll come off but since i'm gonna be painting it i had to take it off 
um, and you can see it's nice and black right now. It leaves no residue behind, so it should be easy to just wipe off. All right, so watch how easy it is. Bruh. Holy crap. Did you put enough? It's wet. Maybe it's different now. <laughs> what are they like, oh, you can't paint our badges anymore? Uh, yeah. What if the plastic is black? So easy. Dude, nothing is coming I off. I think the plastic is black. Like, I don't know. Wouldn't it have to be painted though? Um. All right guys, the badge is clear. It took me probably like about an hour, if not more, to clear this out. So if you guys remember when I first showed it to you guys where the tape was still on it, it had like a metallic-y finish, whereas the other ones had like a flat black finish. So I don't know if they use a different uh, type of paint, I guess, on these but the acetone was doing nothing. Basically, I had to hit it with the acetone to get it to loosen up a little bit, and then I had to scrape it, and then hit it with acetone, scrape it, acetone, scrape it, until it finally just came off. But right there, you could see it with a white background. It is nice and clean, no cracks, so we're good to go, ready to paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it painted tonight and let it dry overnight, and then we'll be back tomorrow to see how they turned out. All right, so I got two blank grills and four badges right here. So this one's going on the white grill, and this one is the new one that's going on the blue grill. So as you can see, this one came out super nice. No cracks, no nothing, it's perfect. This is the original JDM one. And this is the cracked one that I made pink. I got tape on the back ready for one of you guys to DM me so I can ship it to you guys. I got these sprayed with Goo Gone and uh, I got all the excess tape off. So these will adhere better. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on real quick. I should have heated it up. Whatever. Make sure it's on the, no, the it right on way. There. <laughs> the right way. Yeah. It has it has a little tab on the bottom right here that goes into like a hole that the grill has, so so it doesn't move. Um, I see. Yeah, so this one's done. Just gotta do this one. Voila. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this pink one looks perfect, dude, because it's brand new. Woo! <laughs> what? Is that your happy cheer? It's my happy cheer. <laughs> I like the purple. They both look nice. Yeah. If the purple was brand new, it would look uh, nice, too. I did try to polish it, but... Yeah, they both look really nice. You can see the reflection of our lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good work. You want to see my grill? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see if these new clips will hold now. There we go. Cracked into place, so. Yeah, it won't pop out anymore. Looks nice. I don't know why the heck I even bought it. It doesn't stay on. <laughs> it's the wrong headlights. Are you filming? Yeah. Alright, so this one looks weird because it has the pre-facelift headlights. I still haven't gotten the facelift headlights. But I'm gonna go with cheap eBay ones because cheap eBay ones are plastic. And this car gets all the cheap parts. And the plastic ones weigh less anyways. And we're trying to make this car as light as possible. But 
I mean, you can kind of get an idea of what it'll look like with the grill. The purple badge. It has so many colors on it. <laughs> Green, that red, orange, white, black, white, white. <laughs> All right guys, so this wraps up our week long video. Um, both the badges came out super nice. Um, the new pink one on this one came out perfect. And then the purple one for this one came out really good as well. You can see, like I said, you can see the two cracks on this one. I don't wanna spend unnecessary money on this one, but the badge was, I think $22 with taxes shipped to my house. And it's really easy to do uh, I don't know I might be doing a brand new one on this one I don't know yet though because like I said I need somebody to talk me out of it because it's cheap but I like I said I'd, I'd rather spend those 20 bucks on something else for this car but yeah guys I hope you guys learned how to make your own custom badge um, like I said for the other pink one that I'm not using um, send me a DM on Instagram and I will get it shipped out to you as long as you cover the shipping. But that's going to do it for this video because we have to go buy some pumpkins to carve. So thanks for watching. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.